Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my review on the Dose of Colors and I Love Sarah E collection. As always guys, there will be timestamps below if you care to skip around. I'm gonna um, cover cost breakdown, swatches. I did a demo of this um, palette for the eyes and also I tried on both highlighters, one on each side so you could see how they looked against my skin tone. Um, right now I have the palette on my eyes today as well. I thought that it's helpful. I know it's kind of distracting when I do one side one way, one side the other, but um, that way you're kind of getting like three looks out of one palette that you can see uh, the versatility of it. Right off the bat, I did get this at the launch event, so I do not have swatches um, on Ripley's skin tone for this collection. There are reviews out there um, on many different skin tones. I will link a few below um, that help. I just don't wanna take their swatches um, and put them in my video without permission, and I haven't had time to reach out to anybody, so I'll direct you to other people's videos. So this brand is Dose of Colors, which you guys have been watching my channel. You know that they make my favorite liquid lipstick formula. This is an indie brand, and this is in collaboration with Karen, who goes by the name of I Love Sarah E on, um, on everything. She's that on Instagram and on YouTube. So the best of my understanding, this is only the second collab that this brand has done, Dose of Colors. Um, the owner is Anna. The first one they did with Desi and Katie, which was great, and then the second one is now with Karen. Karen's one of like the OGs, I think, of Instagram, um, doing tons of different makeup looks. She has previously worked at MAC and she was a working makeup artist. I don't think she takes any new clients now because she's so busy, but um, I went down for the Grammys two, two years ago, so not last years, the years before, and she did my makeup and it looked amazing. Um, I put it on my Instagram, but if I have a picture, I'll put it here. Um, it made me realize how shitty I blend my eyeshadows because she literally was blending my eyes for almost like, I don't know. She did my entire face, but it was like two hours and my eyeshadows were the best blend they've ever been. I'm just like, I don't have patience for that. I remember her telling me, she's like, I'm still blending your eyeshadows. I'm like, that's dedication. She definitely has a ton of makeup skill. And Karen is one of those people that she is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met in this uh, social media space. A lot of times when you see these people that are really like um, successful or really pretty, you think that they might be like kind of unapproachable or really um, maybe conceited or mean. And again, that's really crappy that we ever even think like that. But unfortunately, I think sometimes chunk of society does. And Karen is the complete opposite of that. She is so kind. Um, I know she's helped out tons of other like budding influencers, um, helping them just with connections and everything. She's just really giving. So I was happy to see that she did this collection. I wanted to get that out of the way that I do like Anna the owner and Karen as well, um, just so you're aware of that. I will have some critiques of the products, uh, but in general, this is a brand that I already love anyway. I'm gonna link Karen's launch video below where she did the announcement for these products so you can hear directly from her. Where you can currently find them is on Ulta's site and on the Dose of Color site. I do not believe these are going to be in store for Ulta. I think it's online only. The launch date for these, um, it, it launched already. Um, whether this is limited edition or permanent, this is limited edition. Again, anytime that a name is tied for a collab, they have to have typically a window of time where they will pay them out. It can't just be like, never ending. So what Dose of Colors and Karen launched was a six pan eyeshadow palette, um, two highlighters. This is the one I'm wearing today, which is called Bathe, which is my favorite one. Four liquid lipsticks, two lip glosses, and a partridge in a pear tree, I guess. The palette is $35. The liquid lipsticks are 18. The lip glosses are 17. And highlighters are $28 each, or you could buy the entire collection um, on a bundle on the Dose of Colors website for $197, although it doesn't give you any price breaks because um, all of that adds up. So you basically just get it all together. I do not see any discount codes available for this. Um, Dose of Colors doesn't have one on their website, and this is actually excluded from coupons at Ulta. It's available all throughout the US for international shipping. Um, the Dose of Colors website does ship internationally. I will have the page linked below for all their shipping terms and costs so you guys can read up on that depending on where you are. The packaging is very beautiful. It's kind of like, I don't know if this is still considered millennial pink, is it? Yeah, this seemed to have been like really trending this past year and coming into this year. And it has these like light little kind of like not palm trees. I don't really know what I would call these greens, but it was all over the party too. Um, just these beautiful kind of like plant 
lights in the background that make it shiny. Actually, it's this exact pattern. Um, this feels really nice and kind of like tropical and like vacation to me. Um, they're all the same. Um, the only thing I don't like is that the liquid lipsticks, just like with their previous collection, are in solid packaging and it makes that hard for me to tell what they are. Um, I like to be able to just look at the color and pull from that. So that would be um, my only critique. The, the tubes are pretty though. I think they did it to distinguish between the lip glosses and the liquid lipsticks. All of these products I just showed you are made in the United States like all of Dose of Colors products. So at the end of this video, I'm going to take off what I have on my lips and I'm going to attempt to swatch these. I typically don't like swatching liquid lipsticks um, just because since this isn't my job, when I've done this before, I end up with like really red chapped bleeding lips and going into a job like that makes you look slightly, slightly crazy. But since there's only four of those, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, right now what I'm wearing on my lips is this nude one called Barely There, and then the, uh, I'm completely Spanish illiterate. Uh, I think this is gonna be Brio, but I wanna say Brillo, like a Brillo pad, because it's spelled B-R-I-L-L-O. Um, I have been learning some Spanish, but I don't know this word. <laughs> so in the liquid lipsticks, you're going to get a bright red finish, a pinky nude, a burnt sienna, a nude peach, and in the glosses, you're gonna get a nude pink sheer, and then you're gonna get a gold reflex glitter. For the palette, you're getting six eyeshadows. You're gonna get two mattes, three foils, and then one matte with glitter. Um, I wouldn't even call this a sheen because it's not. It's just a matte with chunks of glitter in there. For the two highlighters, uh, Bathe is my favorite. This is gonna be a peach pink, and then Soulmate is a gold color. All of these highlighters and eyeshadow colors are all new. They are unique to this um, launch. Now, I will say that some of the liquid lipsticks do look like they could be similar to some of their old liquid lipsticks or original ones, but they are different, different enough that you could own all of them and they're not exactly the same at all. Um, I would do some color comparisons for them, but I actually just had to clean out some of my liquid lipsticks because I had so many and those don't last forever and I'm weird about anything like that that goes on your lips that you stick on with an applicator and stick back in. Um, same thing with my eyes, I throw that stuff away um, after it expires. The amount of product that you get with everything is each one of these shadows is 1.7 grams, giving you a total of 10.2 grams worth of product in this entire palette, which is a pretty good deal. The liquid lipsticks and the glosses are 0.16 ounces, and the highlighters come in at a pretty large 12 grams for each one of these pans, which is pretty much a lifetime supply, I feel like. Shelf life for all these products is 12 months, except for the highlighters, which come in at 24 months. I do not have an order date for you guys or anything like that, because again, I did receive this in PR at the launch event. Sorry about that. I do know that this ships out of Burbank, California, though, for all the different orders that I've placed with them. And I believe this comes USPS if I'm not mistaken. So all of their products for Dose of Colors are cruelty-free. The lip glosses are vegan and cruelty-free. The liquid lipsticks are vegan and cruelty-free. The, um, the highlighters are vegan and cruelty-free. The only item in this collection that is not um, vegan is going to be this eyeshadow palette because it does contain carmine. I think a lot of times the reason why brands um, will make everything like vegan except for sometimes um, products that need to have carmine in them is because the artificial bread dyes um, that you would replace carmine with can stain the skin and for the FDA that is not considered like eye safe so you won't it'll, you'll have to print on the palette not approved for use on the eye. Um, those dyes could be approved they're approved in the European Union but here in the US um, someone would need to pay for that to go through the testing and since it's not unique to a brand I don't know any brand that's going to want to pay for a common red dye to be used by everybody um, for approval on that so typically they'll just cover their butts and say not safe for the eye but um, that's why they didn't do that. Nothing in here causes me any cause for concern except if you have a sensitivity to ferric ferrocyanide um, this does contain that. Now I'm going to show you guys a cost breakdown um, just for the highlighters and for the eyeshadow palette. I don't have my liquid lipsticks um, categorized like that. There's so many. Um, maybe one day I will but I don't, just don't have those right now. 
as you can see, this cost per gram comes in at $3.43, which is a pretty good value, um, especially the way that these perform. The formula on these mats is just like the typical um, dose of colors formula, if you guys have tried any of their five pan palettes. Um, actually, I'll say their five pan palettes because I never tried that Hidden Treasures, I think is the palette. Um, the layout just like irked me, so I just never picked it up. But, um, so I can't speak to how those are, but these mats are extremely creamy. So if you got the Desi and Katie palette, those had to be used best with a finger or with um, one of those sponge tip applicators, if you remember in my previous video. They almost were like you'd press on them and you'd leave like a finger mark. These aren't like that. These are just standard kind of like foil um, formulas. I cannot find anything online that matches these ingredients exactly, so this formula is unique um, in my findings. Um, for the application, I'm going to show you guys a demo, again, of me doing one eye one way and one eye the other way. If you guys don't want to watch that, I'm going to have a timestamp right here in the screen where you can skip ahead to the next part of the video. Okay guys, so I just have my eyebrows filled in. I don't have any face makeup on yet. I do have my skincare done. I'm gonna do my eyes first. I normally like to do my base first and then my eyes, but playing with this palette, I know um, some of the colors I'm gonna demo for you do get fallout, so um, I'm just gonna do my eyes first. I have had my second IPL treatment, which I'm pretty much obsessed with um, at Laser Away. So you can see like maybe some of these like little darker, um, sunspots that I had that are um, still kind of pushing out. They'll probably be dark like that until Friday or Saturday. I'm um, judging by the first one I had, but the first one got a ton of sun damage I had on my face and it's gotten rid of a lot of the redness. I'm doing it on my chest too. I'm obsessed with it. So um, later after that heals, I'm going to show you guys like before and afters of even just two treatments, but um, I have six coming. It's really even out my skin tone a lot, so I'm loving it because I can wear really light foundations if I want now too, which I always kind of did anyway, but. Uh, I'm gonna prep my eyes first with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. As always, everything I use will be um, linked below in the description box as well as listed on the screen in case I forget to mention it. So first I'm going to do um, this eye and I'm gonna show you more of like an everyday look, um, something that's a little more, it's not as dramatic as the second one I'm gonna do. So first I'm gonna take this peach color on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna use that as my transition color. I really like this color. I really like all the colors in this palette actually. It's a little apprehensive if I would like this black with the glitter because I typically don't like chunky glitter in my eyeshadows, um, but it's pretty beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss number 20 brush and I'm gonna pick up this um, more terracotta brown and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm tickling my face. I feel like the life of having pets, well pets that have hair anyway, unless they're like hypoallergenic and even then I don't know because I've never had one, but um, I just have like animal hair constantly floating everywhere. All my black clothing is covered in pet hair. I have lots of lint rollers all over my house. I pick up the Sonya G Worker 2 brush and blend that in. There's nothing on here. Ooh, something's itchy. I think it's a cat. Even though it's summertime, I feel like he's still like shedding his coat. More so than usual. If you see though, these blend super nice, really creamy. They're in typical keeping of the Dose of Colors formula that I really love. I just love this brand. I love the owner. He's really hardworking and nice. I really hear them in drama, which is nice. The only products I haven't been a huge fan of that they've made, because you know their liquid lipsticks are my favorite. Um, this is the Wayne Goss 3 brush. I'm just gonna blend that in. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their lip glosses. Not all of them. Um, are there original ones, actually? I need to try the updated ones because the ones that they came out with with Katie and Desi's collection, I really liked, but I didn't like the ones that I had bought, like the petals and some of the other ones because they were too pigmented for me. Some people really like pigmented lip glosses, but I almost felt like it looked kind of streaky and I typically like a wash of color on my lips um, with some sparkle, if anything. In my typical bonehead me fashion, I started my dishwasher like a half hour ago and it's rinsing now, so if you hear that in the background, sorry. 
I'm gonna take some Too Faced glitter glue on the back of a synthetic brush. I'm gonna place this just over the center of my eye. Leaving the inner and outer third alone. Again, pat. Um, some people ask me if I get like chunky or if it, it starts sliding around. Um, I think if you went in too heavy with this, it could, but um, if you've ever worked with a kind of spirit gum or something, that's the idea that I use behind it. Um, I just pat it on until it gets kind of like sticky and then I put the shadow over top. Next I'm going to take the Esam W21 brush and I'm going to pick up this really pretty color in the middle here. And I'm just gonna dot that where I put the glitter glue, just over the center of my eye there and just kind of like try to trickle it out into that darker color that I had on there. See that, I think that's pretty. And now I'm just gonna pick up a little more of this dark color with the brush that I packed that on and I'm gonna pack that a little more onto the lid so it's not as blown out. Gotta be careful when you go back over with another color that's like a matte because if you have the glitter glue down and you put it on sloppily, um, your your mats could stick to it as well. So be careful with that if you do use glitter glue again. I always do because I have hooded eyes and if I don't, it transfers up. Um, so that looks messy right now, but once my face makeup is done, I'll transfer it all back. So these three colors are these four colors, um, cre transition crease, and then you can either put this all over the inner or outer. Um, and then pack any of these all over the lid and it's a really beautiful look and it's really simple. And now this next one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start off the same. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush. I'm gonna pick up this peach color and I'm gonna lay this down. I wore this to the Dose of Colors launch event. Um, they were so kind, they invited myself um, and I was allowed to bring a guest and I brought my roommate Kat, who does my hair extensions, not Kat Von D in case any idiot's watching this. and makes that same assumption. If you follow me on Instagram, you know why that's funny. Um, we had fun, but we weren't like, I never will drink and drive, like even a drink and drive, it's just not worth it. So I had um, Uber, well, first of all, it's not safe and you could hurt people and yourself and it is against the law. Um, I think most states now are almost like a zero tolerance, pretty much. I mean, even one drink will put you over the legal limit in most places. Anyway, um, we took like an almost $100 Uber from where we live out to um, the headquarters. So I'm gonna pick up my Wayne Goss number 20 brush and this color, I just picked that up a little and I'm gonna work this into my crease and a little above my crease, higher than I went with this one. Or I'm gonna try to anyway. Because this, what I find for me in smoky eyes, or black smoky anyway, well really any smoky. These are like the foundation colors, like that kind of peach transition and this warmer brown really makes it wearable for me. Um, again, everybody has a different, what they prefer. So remember, I have to keep my eye down at rest too, because if I'm constantly lifting my eyebrows up like this, you can see. Now I'm going to go back with that Sonya G worker too. Mm -hmm. Now I want to go in with something a little more precise. I'm going to pick up um, on my Wingoss 20 brush, I'm going to pick up this black with the shimmer in there. This I get fallout with. Um, none of the other colors just this one. Actually, maybe the next one I'm gonna use a little bit that um, teal green blue color. Maybe a little bit, but um, I did my face makeup first and then I did this and I was like, son of a. I had little black specks on my cheek that I had to wipe away and then I got black smears and then I had to go back up and touch up my concealer. So I would recommend if you are using these shimmer colors like these two, that you do them first. Um, do your eyes first and then go in. Now I like to also do this. Like I know you see it skipping right now, it's because of the, the fold of my eye. 
but I kind of like to connect it up here. Again, I'm gonna leave that blank spot open over my eye. I'm gonna clean off um, this Wayne Gosh 20 that I used earlier, and I'm gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna go back and forth and blend that in. This is a really pigmented black, and I'm surprised at the ease that it blends for how pigmented it is. Most people, I think, can tell you if you really like enjoy wearing black eyeshadow that a lot of black eyeshadows can be really chalky, not very pigmented, or extremely difficult to blend once you get down because it kind of like sticks, and then it can go overboard really quick, and then you end up with panda eyes. So this is gonna look crazy until I finish. I'm gonna go back through with that worker too. That had that kind of brown on there. Keep blending that. What does that look like now? I feel like these are one of those things where I don't have the patience to blend as long as like professional makeup artists. Got a little on the inside corner there, which I can go back through and clean up again because I don't have any makeup on. So uh, again, a little glitter glue. I'm gonna pat that all over the spot that I left blank. Now I'm gonna take this um, Isom W21 brush. I'm gonna pick up this green color. And now I'm gonna pat that over. This is what I did for that party. And make sure you kind of like feather it into the black. This color looks stunning over the black too. I love that. I know it looks crazy right now because it's only the top of my eye is done. <laughs> okay, right here you can see where um, I normally typically don't like pulling on my eye, but see these little specks right here? Um, if you had concealer on, that would be a mess right now. So I'm gonna um, go do my face makeup and I will come back and finish my under eyes for you guys. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm gonna say this wrong. I think you say it's Suluwasu. Su Su, su, suwasu, 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 I think is how you say it. Um, I'm wearing the Perfecting Cushion EX um, cushion foundation. The shade ranges in these are terrible. Um, I find for most cushion foundations because they typically are a product of Asia and um, where they're the biggest in Korea. Um, and don't get me wrong, there are Asians that have um, very deep skin tone as well, but the majority of the market that they're aimed towards is um, the general population or the biggest population there, which typically is um, medium to fair. So this is in shade 23. I really like um, these cushion foundations, again, because um, they're hydrating. I just wish that they would expand their shade offerings. So first, let me finish my under eyes, and then I will go through and show you guys both of the highlighters as well. On this eye, I'm going to take um, this darker brown, and this is on the Smudger 2 Sonya G brush. And I'm gonna bring this down underneath here. Um, same thing under this eye, that same brown. I'm gonna take the Sonia G Pencil 2, and this one I'm not gonna smoke as far down because I'm not gonna really do much more on this one. If I wanted now, I could go on with a darker liner um, in my rim, but I'm gonna leave it alone. This one I'm gonna try to smoke down kind of low. I'm gonna take the Isom T05 brush. I'm gonna pick up this, um, that black sparkly color and very carefully press that into my lash line on the bottom here. If I go back and forth, I'm gonna get glitter fallout on my freshly done makeup and I'll be pissed. I'm gonna take a black liner. This is the um, newer Makeup Forever, the Artist Color Pencils in 100 whatever black. I'm gonna line that inside rim. Now what this palette doesn't have, which I don't mind, is a highlight color for me. Um, so I'm going to take, this is a uh, Max Blanc type, and I love this Real Techniques shading brush, um, always for highlighting, and I'm going to bring that into the inside corner of my eye. Um, I typically only like shimmery highlights on the inside corner of my eye if I'm like going out to like, I don't know, like a club or something, which my old ass never goes to anymore, really. 
or if I have an all matte look on my eye and then I want a little pop of color. I'm gonna take this MAC uh, 252 brush and I'm gonna dip that in and I'm just gonna go right under my eyebrow just to, I like like a creamy white to highlight against my skin tone. I don't like anything too stark or it's too much. But that really just like polishes that off, I think. And now for the two highlights. So this one is Soul Soulmate. I think that's it's called a soul matte. <laughs> and this is my favorite. This is Bathe. So I typically like, uh, again, if you've been watching me, pinky highlights. Um, gold or like kind of bronzy ones aren't really my thing just because I just don't care for them against my skin tone. So I'm going to kind of swap these. So first I'm going to do what my favorite highlighter is so you can see it. And this has been one of my favorite highlight brushes. This is the Sephora number 98. Um, I just love the give on this bristles. I thought this was gonna be too dark for me, but it's not. Um, if you can watch this, I mean, these are like really foiled, like intense highlights. These are beautiful. No glitter on the cheek whatsoever. Really, really pretty. And for those curious about my skin tone to see how the highlighter um, looks on me, I will have my shades listed below. Um, but some popular ones, any cushion foundation really, I'm uh, shade 23. I can be shade 17 too, it depends. Um, MAC NW20, if you're familiar with that. Um, again, I'll have a bunch of them listed, and if I don't have room in the description box, I'll pin a comment with them so you can see. Um, now this is Soulmate. This is the one that is a little more warm. And I can wear it, but against my skin tone, I just prefer the more pink one. See? So now you can see both of them. If you're light and neutral, depending on which like kind of finish you like better, or like a gold or more pinky, I think either one of these will work for you. If you're warm toned, I would go with the Soulmate, and if you're cool toned, I would go with the Bathe. If you're extremely fair, um, these might be have too much color deposit on them for you. And then again, just so I can turn over so you guys can see, this is the more um, like everyday eye that's not as intense as this one. I just love the way that the light picks up on there. And since there's some of those like sparkle reflex in the black of this color that's on the lid, it just like all meshes together really nice. And just to show you, if you were to pick up your brush and spray it with some Fix Plus and go over, I like to do this with any of my highlights because it kind of like melts it into the skin. Any kind of spray will do that. So that is it for this demo. I find these wear amazing. Um, I wore that one eye that you saw with the black and kind of like that green teal color out to the Dose of Colors event and it was so hot, it was so hot and it stayed on all night. I didn't get any transfer or anything like that. Again, I always use shimmers with a glitter glue. I always have, or since I've found glitter glue, just because if I don't, they transfer up into my crease. Even now, the color I'm wearing, I have glitter glue all over my lid. Now let's get into some swatches. Unfortunately, I do not have Ripley's swatches available. Um, her and I both were kind of like busy with work and then she was actually getting ready to move and she wasn't feeling well. Um, I picked this up at the launch, so um, again, I apologize. We do not have any swatches on deeper skin, but I will have some videos linked below where you guys, um, for reference on medium and deep, where you guys can check out their videos. Okay guys, let's get into some swatches now. As always, I will be laying down a base of Urban Decay's Primer Potion first. I will be swatching my mattes with my Isom W23 brush, and I will be swatching the shimmers with my MAC 242 brush. In between swatches, I will be cleaning my brush off in my color switch so my brush will not be damp. The first swatch you will see will be a finger swatch, and the one right next to it will be a brush swatch, just so you can see the difference.
So I'm gonna try to hunch down so you can see this. So this is barely there on by itself. Now I'm going to show you guys this, I think it's Bri Brio, <laughs> um, which is the gold glitter one, Reflex. I love this gloss. I wore this by itself to the launch party. I just uh, lined my lips with that Graftobian natural lip liner that I love. Here is this one. When you rub your lips together, you will feel like you make real fine glitter. Um, it's not like completely encapsulated. But what I like about it is that you don't get those like strings. Know what I mean? Next is New Chica, which is one of their liquid lipsticks. I like this color because it has enough pigment in it that it doesn't completely blend in with my lip or my face, kind of like this one does. And this looks really pretty if you wanna layer this over top. Again, I find these like, they're light as air and they're almost like moussey. I don't know, I this is my favorite liquid lipstick. Next is uh, Pe Peachy. Sarah E. Peachy <laughs> um, has the same double I at the end of her name. Well, this is a pretty color too. I would definitely have to have a different eye makeup look on um, and do my makeup a little different um, just based on this color against my skin tone. Next color is Aesthetic, which is this beautiful uh, burnt sienna color. I really do like this color, but again, I would have to um, have a different eye makeup look on for me to want to be able to wear it. Um, this doesn't really go with this, but I love this color as well. Last but certainly not least is Freesia. Fresca, is it Fresca? Freesia. Freesia, I think. There's no C in it. This one is my favorite liquid lipstick out of the whole group. This one in the first um, more like neutral nude color. As you can see, um, all these products perform really well. So would I purchase this if it wasn't sent to me? Yes, I love this eyeshadow palette. I find it gets a huge amount of range in it and I'm actually shocked for six colors. What this is missing um, for it to be a complete palette for me is a brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, which I could use this, but um, I typically like a creamy white matte which you don't need in this uh, because most palettes have them. And again, if you own some eyeshadows, you probably already have those. So I like it that they put some colors in here. So like the look I have on today, I think is really pretty and pretty simple. Then you can do some really smoky eyes as you're gonna see and all types of looks. Um, I think these two transition colors and like kind of a crease go really far and work on a variety of skin tones. The highlighters, I would not buy the Soulmate because um, while it's really pretty, I don't care for gold highlights typically on my skin tone. If it is gold, it has to kind of be like a white gold. I love this one though. I was worried that this was gonna be too dark when I opened it, but as you can see, it works really nice on my skin. I don't have like a ton of color on there. It's not too white where it's like frosty and you can see that white. Um, I love, this Bathe is my new favorite highlighter. This is actually a little warmer than um, the ABH Starburst, which is my favorite highlighter ever really. That one is a little more cool toned than this one, which I actually think this one is more flattering on my skin because it doesn't have that kind of like gray cast that I can get up by the corner of my eye if I put too much on. I would for sure pick up all of these liquid lipsticks because again, this is my all time favorite formula. I love them. So as you've seen in like my rankings, if you guys watch those videos, these are not extremely dry. They have a bit of a tack to them that they stay wet on your lips. Not wet, but like a little moist. I hate that word, but it makes them so they're comfortable and they are still long wearing, but it's not gonna be like the Beauty Bakery ones that can survive like a nuclear blast because those will not budge from my lips, but those are more uncomfortable. I just, I love this formula and they layer well. If they start to wear off, I can put another layer on and it doesn't give me that like crazy, um, mad dog rim or anything like that. So that's all I pretty much have to say about these products. I hope you guys found this review helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and I will see you next time. Bye.